Welcome back to our rich YouTube channel. In today's class, we'll be learning how to make this beautiful ruffle sleeve. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. If this is something you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so to make this ruffle sleeve, I'm working with this sample fabric. It's like an organza fabric, but it's a decorative fabric, it's not plain. So I'm going to be working with it. The length of the fabric is 16 inches. That's the length, okay? So I'm going to be working with the 16 inches length for my ruffle sleeve and then the width that I'm going to be working with depends on how wide you want this sleeve to be by the time you are through. So I think around 10 inches is fine for me so I'm just going to add 1 inch for my hemming allowance on both sides. So that's going to leave me with 11 inches and I'm going to connect that and make it into a straight line. So now I'm going to cut two of these. Okay, that's 16 inches by 11 inches. One is going to be my main fabric, while the other one is going to be my allowance. So what I'm going to do now is just to cut through this, and I'll simply place it on my fabric again while it's still arranged, and then cut the other one. So now I have this, this, this two, one as my main fabric and the other one as my lining. So what you just need to do now is to open it out by the 16 inches and spread it out. So after spreading it out, I'm going to place them against each other. Right side facing right side. This does not actually have a right side. So, but if you're working with fabric that has an obvious right side, just place them right side facing right side. And then you arrange it well. Then I'm going to bring in my crinoline. So I'm working with this crinoline. It's about I need to measure this. It's about two and a half to three inches width. Okay, it's three inches in width. So now I'm going to place my crinoline. So when you're working with the crinoline, you can see that I'm working with white because this does not really have a particular fabric because of the shimmer effect that it has. So Crinoline has several colors, so make sure you get a color that is very close to the fabric you're working with so that it's not going to be too obvious. So I'm going to place this now and then I'll go ahead and sew it down on my sewing machine. I'll sew it down Then after sewing the first side, I'm going to place the crinoline on the other side again and then sew it all around. On the machine now, so I'm going to start to sew it. So I've paid this because the fabric is not stable. So I'm just going to place my crinoline on it and then I will sew. So it's very simple, you just sew straight by half an inch allowance or whatever allowance I use. So you can see me sewing it straight down. And after sewing on this side, I'm going to repeat the same thing. Well. The other side as well when you are sewing your crinoline you don't need to drag it just sew it and let it run its course so when you get to the end point like this you lock your stitch and then cut off the excess crinoline that you have so there, I'm just going to turn it and close one end. Okay, so I'm going to be turning it out through the other end. So now, after closing it, I'm going to turn it again and place my crinoline on the other side. And then I'm going to sew it down again. So just the way we sew it for the first one, I'm just going to sew all the way down for the second side as well. So I've got it to the other hand now and then I'm going to lock my stitch and remove this. So after removing it, I'll cut off the excess crinoline that I have. I remove the pins that I used to hold the fabric together. I'm going to turn it out through this other hand that is not closed. So I've turned it out now. So I'm going to top stitch on it. Okay, you can see me. I'm going to top stitch on both the outer edge and then the crinoline inside remember the crinoline is about two inches so this is the outer space i want it to be really flat so i'm top stitching on it 
as well as the one inside so that it can stay stay in place and be stable so i'm doing the outer corner first and then i'm going to shift and top switch on this one also i can't really see my crinoline because the color of the of the fabric i'm using is very close to it but i can feel it with my hand so i'm just going to feel it and then run the stitch on it so i've top stitched on the outer part so now i'm going to top stitch the crinoline line on the inner part as well so that i can hold it down okay so i've top stitched on both sides and you can see that it is lying a bit flat and then i close it on the upper part so if you don't want to top stitch what you just need to do is to place your hemming gum in between your main fabric and the and the the crinoline then use the iron to press it down so the hem is just to let the crinoline lay very well so that it's not going to be disrupting what you have there so i've got to iron it down now this is what it looks like so the last thing to do is to get the midpoint of this okay you can just measure and mark it down and if you can eyeball it you just need to eyeball it then i'm going to run a gather stitch on the midpoint like this to gather this back to my round hand measurement so i'm gently going to i've run the stitch as you can see i'm just going to gently pull the thread together to gather it So I have gathered it and this is what it looks like when you open it out, okay? So you can also use this, even folded like this, you can use it as a design anywhere you want. But this is not what we are going for. So after gathering it, I'm going to bring in my strap, okay? So this is what I'm going to be sewing to the ham hole. So now I'm going to lay this on my strap and then make sure that I gather it to the exact length that I have here. So I'm going to be placing it at the midpoint of my strap and then I'm going to sew it down. You can see me opening it up so that I can see the midpoint and then I'll sew it down to the midpoint of the strap. So I'll go and do this now. I've gone ahead to sew it down, you can see. So when you turn it to the right side, you see the strap underneath it. So when you're sewing, you leave half an inch to sew this to your ham hole on both sides okay so this is what it looks like you can see how full this is looking so if you want it to be full line remember we use 60 inches here you can make yours more or less and the crinoline is just going to give you this wavy effect that you see here so now i'm going to take this to the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like okay so the sleeve is fixed now and this is what it looks like you can see how beautiful it is sitting on that top so like i said you can actually make this fuller than this if you want or you can be as less as you want so you can agree with me that this is a very beautiful sleeve and it's very easy to make i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye